Okay, so listen, you felt like the outcast of your family. I get it. You didn't feel like you can fit in. I get it. Who gets it even more is God because he set you apart for something great. Not everybody is going to see your calling. You may want validation from your parents. You may want validation from your family. You may want them to see you and understand you, but that is not in God's will. God did not release that to them for them to see that in you. And you got to be okay with that. And you got to receive what God called you into. It's a heavy mantle. Your destiny, yes, is heavy. And it may be hard that people don't see what you want them to see. And you can't share everything because God did not release you to share everything. And when you did, it was like casting your pearls amongst swine. God did not release everybody to see you. You were hidden and set apart for a reason, okay? God needs you to be okay with that. He needs you to be okay with that. And also, he's going to need you to be okay with the new family and the new divine connections that he's about to give you. For the sufferings of this time cannot be compared to the glory that's about to be revealed in you. You are greatness. You haven't seen that you were greatness because you were expecting other people to pour that out into you and to tell you that, but they couldn't see it. God sees it. And the people that he has aligned to your life will see it. Those divine connections were released to be able to see in you what God put in you. Stop reaching back for people to validate you and give you the attention that you so desire because maybe you're feeling lonely and you're, you know, you're, you're not in that relationship, that marriage that God has said you're supposed to be in, but you're about to be in it. But you're about to do massive things for God's glory, okay? For God's glory. It is not about us. It's never about us. So don't be in your feelings. Don't stay in your feelings because you may be feeling a little lonely and you haven't seen that manifestation from God. But it doesn't mean that it's not coming. Let me tell you, if I need to remind you again, Isaiah 55, 11, God never lies. God is not a liar. What he said to you is, what is, is, is exactly what he's going to do. But he needs you to gangster up a little bit in your spirit and know that his power upon you and his glory that is going to fall upon you is not for other people to understand until it's time. Until it's time. All right. I pray that that has touched your spirit to hold on just a little while longer. My child, the Lord is saying that in Jesus' name. Because see, you were not meant to be just like everybody else. It doesn't mean that you are better. See, that's the thing. God knows that you don't feel great about yourself and that you sometimes feel unworthy and that you don't value yourself. And sometimes you can't even look yourself in the mirror. God knows that. But he said, you are worthy, my child. He has adopted you and grafted you into his greatness. And he has chosen you for such a time as this. You have to receive what God is speaking to you. Because what God is speaking to you is all love. It's all unconditional love. It's not backed by wrong motives, impure intentions. 
What God has spoken to you is for you. And he wants you to receive it into your spirit. And he wants you to block out every lie that is coming to you right now that is not of him. Because when God says you are great, the enemy is always going to try to come against you and try to make you feel less of yourself. We are nothing without God, but we are everything when we are with him. And we are everything because of him. It's because of him. It is because of God. It is because of, he, of his, his richness. It is because, because of his mercy that we are still alive and we are in our right minds. It's because of his mercy that we are not consumed in Jesus' name. So encourage yourself in the Lord at this moment right now. Encourage yourself because he chose you. He chose you. He chased after you. That's some love that you have never experienced before. And the Lord wants you to receive it because there's more that he wants to bestow up on you. And he wants you to be open to receive that powerful love. So when you are placed in this position that God has designed and destined for you to be placed in, you will pour it unto other people. They will see God's glory upon your life. Doesn't matter what anybody else is saying. If they say you're of God or not of God, you know your relationship with God. You know what you say to him. You know what he says to you. You know what you say to God in your secret place. He chose you. 